Thank you for watching this video. Today we will be doing technical analysis on the S&P 500 for Thursday, November 12th, 2020. And for this analysis, we will be using StockCharts.com. That is the charting service that I use and pay for. And I will leave a link to their site in the description box below this video. My name is Rodney Constable. I have over 25 years of experience trading stocks and options. I'm a former financial advisor, a former vice president of a major mutual fund company, and I am the president and founder of Simple Market Signals at simplemarketsignals.com. Today we were down 1% on the S&P 500 and we closed at 3537.01. The first chart that we're going to look at is a two-day, two-minute candlestick chart of the S&P 500. I wanted to go to this time frame so you can see this gap down this morning. So we gap down at the open. Of course, this dotted blue line is where we finished up yesterday. So this is yesterday's trading over here. And of course, this panel over here is today's trading. So we gap down at the open and then tried to gained some momentum and just shortly after 11 o'clock today eastern time then the market started to once again sell off and uh, we hit our bottom of the day right around this 3520 area and had a little bit of a rally into the close that took us off of the absolute lows for the day but again we were down one percent for the day and before we move to the next chart i want to point this out at 10 a.m this morning for those of you that are simple market signal subscribers at 10 a.m this morning i spent i sent you a special email so if you are a simple market signal subscriber make sure you check your email i sent this to you at right at 10 a.m eastern standard time this morning on thursday the 12th so please check for that email if you haven't already seen that the next chart that we're going to look at is a five-day 10-minute candlestick chart of the s p 500 and i wanted to go to this time frame so that i could point out this gap up that we had on monday the 9th and of course this was on the very good news that Pfizer shared with all of us about the efficacy rate that they've seen during testing on their COVID-19 vaccine. What I don't like about what we see here in the chart is that the S&P 500, the highs right of the day and really the highs ever in the S&P 500 were put in during this first 10 minutes. Okay. And by the way, this was the only day in the history of the S&P 500 where it's traded above 3600 but as you can see we put in the highs right at the open and then continue to sell off and we closed at the lows of the day on monday and then we've continued to kind of just slowly bleed off some pressure on the market since then now we're only down one percent today so you know it's not a huge amount and we're still trading really higher than what we were about a week ago but this is not really positive technical action so we'll have to really keep our eyes open over the next couple of days the question becomes you know is this a sh at least a short-term reversal that we've put in here and will we continue to uh, sell off or you know can we can you know can we go higher over the next few days uh, you know we don't know guys uh, but uh, I don't really like this pattern at least in the short term so uh, you know eyes wide open over the next few days guys and uh, be quick to uh, you know rebalance take profits uh, do whatever uh, feels right for you and pretty much everything was down today we know the S&P 500 was down 1% the DIA that tracks the Dow Jones Industrial Average down 1.03 the IWM for the Russell 2000 small caps down 159 the MDY that tracks the S&P 400 mid cap down 173 for today the triple Q's were down a half of a percent 50 basis points for the day the RSP which is the equal weighted S&P 500 ETF down 1.62% and the SPY the SPY that tracks the S&P 500 was down 99 basis points. So was really no place to hide. Again, not a catastrophic day, but a negative day in the stock market across the board all the same. Do you know the level of risk in the stock market on an ongoing basis? Simple Market Signals. It's like having risk radar for the U.S. stock market. Simple Market Signals is less than $20 per month. Simple Market Signals is for financial professionals and individual investors. What is it costing you to not have this information? To get started, go to simplemarketsignals.com.